So there are multiple reasons for prep failures, and they could be, you know, uh, at any point in the prep continuum of care, from you know people who may not use their pills as recommended, from you know uh, the healthcare system that is not able to provide access to prep for people uh, in need of prep. It could be also the physicians who are not ready to prescribe PrEP or not aware that they could use uh, you know, uh, PrEP for uh, preventing HIV in their high-risk uh, patients. It could be also the tests that we use sometimes that are not able to uh, detect acute HIV infection and if you start prepping someone with acute HIV infection, you're bound to see more resistance. Uh, so what we think when we talk about PrEP is the failure of drugs to uh, protect against HIV acquisition, but in fact, what we call biomedical failures, so the failures of drugs are very rare. We only have a few cases that are um, being reported of real PrEP failures, and even those cases, you know, raise questions about, you know, whether really failures of the drugs or failures to uh, properly uh, initiate PrEP in these people.